Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. Once again, I logged in to see one of these legendary transform schematics, this time in the Triple Atlas. I decided to pull out my rescue trooper Ramirez, go in there, check it out and end it in an amazing team that also wanted to one up the difficulty so that we could get a few tickets and additional spring on gold. So that's always really cool. Normally when this happens in the end game, it is because People know what they're doing, so it's always really cool to hit a group like that. We had a constructor in the team, so I popped down some materials. Others did that as well. It's like, in my opinion, the best way to go buy things just to let those that are really good at any given role to go have fun with that. And as the constructor was building the pyramids, I decided to clear out a little bit of the area to put down a kill roof. I really do enjoy putting down those we had. Outlander that came with goody piñata llamas for us to smash for even more resources everybody could be stashing up. So really well working group all together and there you can see the tiny kill area that I made just as a bit of a welcome for those that would spawn there. I was of course toying around with the new easter egg launcher just as with my other weapons and what I really wanted to try to see while playing this mission here, especially since it was power level 107, was how does this new weapon work here? I've been testing it out on a lot of different missions, but this here is like pushing the limits a little bit of my power level 106 weapon. And it was decently efficient here. The energy weapon really, like that part of the weapon really shined here. We were up against fire element husks, something where you would normally take a water element weapon, but I mainly tested out really with damage from my energy weapons and the easter egg launcher was really cool against that. I also tried to check it out directly against the smasher to see how does the knockback work from it. Is it like high enough? Is it good enough against the smasher power level 107? And it was. It could efficiently knock back a smasher after a few shots, not just with the first shot. So it is not as efficient as a bazooka for instance or the dam buster. But it was good enough for that. Obviously I tried to hit some of these flying takers with it as well. I didn't really get enough testing against takers done yesterday. So I tried that quite a bit today as well and it is not a weapon you want to be fooling around with takers against. It's just that's probably the worst thing you can do with the easter egg launcher is to go <laughs> try to hunt down flying birds by throwing super heavy eggs at them. Bad deal! Don't go there guys, just don't do it really, it's a bad call, but I had to do it nonetheless. I knew it was a stupid idea, but I had to do it, I absolutely had to try to test that out, just as a lot of other things that, yeah, I'm silly like that. Of course, played with my, with my sniper, so hyped about the sniper weapon, one of the few things that I really feel players should be getting also from the event store, we have six days left to get things from there. Besides that, amazing group, we did fizzle a little bit after. The mini boss appeared really we all focused on the mini boss when it came meaning that we had a bit of a breaking point in two of the other atlases that took some damage but we did great we did amazing we won the mission of course we did and we managed to rake in the good reward chest for it and it's coming here all the goodies for those of you out there wondering what kind of loot are you getting for completing these missions also with the one up and with the transform so i'm including that stuff here of course, the actual transform schematic coming as a reward of its own and for upping the difficulty is coming here as well. And note that spring it on gold carries on this time around, so you don't need to spend it all. Trying to like fit a little bit with what I have actually using an epic hero this time around for the transformation for a trap. Got another gas ceiling trap, so that was cool, but not really what I hoped since I would rather not spend my, my daily mission currency for a freeze trap in the event store, but now it looks as if I have to do that. Regardless guys, that was what I had to share. Another one of the like freebie legendary missions, they're just flooding the game right now. It is so fun to be farming these. I do hope you guys enjoyed. For now guys, and as always, thank you very much and very much for watching.